points A, B, C, given that positive integers A, B, C satisfy one is less than A, which is less than B, which is less than C. The sum of A, B, C equals 111. E squared equals A, C. We have three variables, two equations, and one inequality from equation three. We can see that E squared equals A, C, which means that A, C is a perfect square. E squared equals A, C might be a good starting point for solving the problem. We let the greatest common divisor of A and C equal D. Then we have A equals A1D, C equals C1D. A1, C1 are positive integers as the GCD of A and C equals D. So the GCD of A1 and C1 must equal 1. A1 is less than C1. From equation 3, we know that B squared equals AC. We know that A equals A1D, C equals C1D. So we can now write equals B squared A1C1. Thus, B squared divides B squared, which means D must divide B. Now we let B equal B1D. B1 is a positive integer. B1 squared equals A1 C1. Since the, the GCD of A1 C1 equals 1, so A1 C1 must be perfect squares. Now let A1 equal M squared C1 equal N squared M N are positive integers. The GCD of M and N is 1 then B1 equals mn, m is less than n. Since the sum of a, b, c is 111, we know that a equals a1d, c equals c1d, b equals b1d, so we can now write d times the sum of A1, B1, C1 equals 111. We know that A1 equals M squared, C1 equals M squared, B1 equals Mn. So we can now write D times M squared plus and squared plus mn equals 111. Factors of 111 are 1, 3, 37, 111. As m, n are positive integers and m is less than n, so 
and must be greater than or equal to one and must be greater than or equal to two so and squared plus and squared plus and then must be greater than or equal to one squared plus two squared plus one times two which is equal to seven since and squared plus and squared plus and then is greater than or equal to seven so either d equals one or d equals three is one d equals one which means m squared plus n squared plus mn equals 111 so m equals one n equals 10 is a unique set of solutions m equals one so a one equals one so a equals one we know that one is less than a so a equals one is discarded is two d equals three which means m squared plus n squared plus mn equals 37 so m equals 3, n equals 4, which is a unique set of solutions. A1 equals m squared, so A1 equals 9. B1 equals mn, so B1 equals 12. C1 equals m squared, so C1 equals 16 a equals a1d so a equals 27 b equals b1d so b equals 36 c equals c1d so c equals 48 so this is the only set of solutions.